Hello, hello, hello. I am the Linux Match. Today I'm going to talk about a terminal file manager called Ranger. So let's get to it. So today I'm in a virtual machine of Arch Linux and I'm with the awesome window manager. And I'm going to open up a terminal and it's going to make this a little larger. And to install it, you're going to type in sudo apt install ranger if you're in a debian or ubuntu system and if you're in an arch system of course you're going to do sudo well pacman s ranger just like that and then to start it you're just going to type in ranger I don't have a lot of files in this virtual machine, so it's kind of hard to show you stuff, but uh, I'm going to show you a few things. And I first installed this Ranger probably a year, a year and a half ago, but I haven't used it much. And I've started using it a little bit more, so I thought I'd do a video about it. So it works with the Vim keys. Now, of course, if you don't know what the VIMP keys are, it might be a little harder to use, but, and I'm not going to do a tutorial now about the VIMP keys. Maybe I will sometime. But you can also use your mouse. So, for instance, let's say I want to see what this picture is. Let's do this one. I want to see what this JPEG is. So you highlight it, right-click it, and there it is. It's a wallpaper. Close the screen. Now let's go into my share folder because I know I have a video in there. And let's click on this video. Let's right click it. And now the video is playing. And of course you can make the video large screen. And this is just a video I made a few weeks ago. And let's escape out of there. Let's close it. And of course, you can use the Vim keys too. So let's say, and you can also use your arrow keys as well to go up and down. So let's say I want to play this video. So I highlight it and I hit the L key. And there it is, it's playing. And let's shut it. Now, let's say I go down to this test document. It shows you what's inside the document. This is a test for my host machine. It was just a simple text video I made. Sorry, it was just a simple text file I made a while back. Now let's say I want to open it. So I hit L. Now it opens it in Vim. And I can close it. And you can also use your mouse. Let's go back to my home drive. Now let's say I want to see the hidden files. You can just hit your backspace button. Now it's showing all the dot files or the hidden files as they're called. Now I want to get rid of them, hit the backspace again, and they're gone. Now, let's say I want to copy this SSH text. This was a uh, text I made for my previous video on SSH. And of course, like I said, you can highlight it and see what's inside it or if I want to actually open it up I hit the L now I'm inside of it within Vim close it now let's say I want to copy this so what I'm going to do is use the Vim keys I'm going to hit Y I'm going to hit Y again and now I'm going to hit the P for paste and now I copied it and it automatically gave it an extra a new name so put uh, ssh dot it is here ssh dot text with an underscore now let's say i want to rename this so let's do uh colon rename and i'm going to give it a new name i'm going to give it ssh2 let's do second period txt let's hit enter so now it's giving it a new name l to open it 
Let's and Vim. Let's close it. Oops, I did that again by accident. Let's close it. And of course, you can use your mouse. Now, let's say I wanted to cut this text out or delete it from this directory and put it in another file folder. So, what I'm going to do is I'm going to move. I'm going to take it out and put it into my downloads folder. So, what I want to do is highlight the file you want. Let's do DD. Then. I'm going to go up to my downloads folder and I'm going to do pay PP. Now let's just go back home and you can use your mouse too. So now we can see it's gone out of my home directory. Let's click on and it's in my uh, downloads directory. You can see right here. So when you click on a directory, it shows you what's inside of it and let's click on downloads. I have one file there and I can enter it and there it is there. Now let's say I want to move it back. So we'll just do DD. Go back home. PP and now it's back in my home directory. Now let's say I want to delete the file altogether. So I could and you don't have to go down the way I did. You can just use your mouse. Just type in colon delete and it's gone now you have to be careful because when you do this it doesn't go into your trash it just goes it's gone forever so this is just uh, another way of getting around um, so here I'm in my mensh directory this is a directory that I downloaded from my GitLab repository and it's free for you to download as well uh, so here's the files. Let's say I want to see what's in the files. Uh, let's click on my auto app file. So there's my auto app file. Now let's say I want to see it in Vim. Just hit the L. And now we're in Vim. It opened it up in Vim. And this is my auto app file that's free for you to download. These are the apps that I use. Uh, let's get out of there. This is a resub file. You can see what's in it. Let's go into Vim. Let's get out. And to get out of there, you just quit. So another thing you can do is, let's say you're in your mesh folder. Uh, let's say this was a bigger folder and you're looking for a file. And you know it's in your mesh folder, you could do a search. A Vim search. So. You have to know the Vim keys, of course. Slash. Let's say you're searching for Vim RC. Vim RC. Enter, and it takes you right there. Let's say we're searching for Auto App. Auto App. Takes you up there. Let's say you want to go to the bottom. Shift G, you're at the bottom. Let's say you want to go to the top. GG. So shift G takes you to the bottom, GG takes it to the top. Let's say I want to view the mirrors. Slash mirrors. There we are, we're there. Now, of course, this is a short list, but imagine you have a long list, a uh, hundred files in that directory. You could just easily jump to that file if you know what the name is. Well, now I'm in a folder where I have a lot of files in it. Let's just go to the bottom. Shift G and I'm at the bottom. GG and I'm at the top. So let's say you wanted to delete a lot of files. You would use your space bar to mark them. And you could use your down arrow or the J key because the J goes down. That's a Vim key, of course. And you could just mark it. So let's delete a bunch of files. So I'm going to do uh, mark, mark. And actually, I don't even have to use the keys. I'm just using my uh, base bar, and I'm marking all these files for deletion. Now, let's say you want to unmark them. So let's go up. Oops. Let's go up. I'm going to unmark the first two. Just put your mouth, just highlight it with the arrow, and unmark it. 
So now we're going to delete all these ones. So you're going to hit uh, the colon, shift colon, and you're going to type in delete. Let's see what happens. So it's asking me to confirm that we're deleting all these files. Just hit the Y for yes, and they're gone. So that was just a quick look at Ranger, a file manager that you can use in the terminal instead of Nemo or PC Man FM or any of the other file managers you happen to be using. And of course, I was just using it with the default configuration file. There's a lot more that you can do with it, but I don't have uh, that much experience with it. So I thought I'd just share that with you in this short video. If you enjoyed the video, please like it and don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Thank you for watching. I am the Linux Mensch.